your bitch ass back just because you can wear some goddamn Gucci and shit. Don't mean shit, nigga. That don't mean a goddamn thing. You talking about fuck black power, all of this black power shit going in on us. Nigga, how dare you? You used it, you used us, brother. You used our platform. And that if we get a hold of any doctrine, that doctrine is opportune. Because you, you just did a goddamn video, and when the people sent it to me, I was like, get the fuck out of here. This nigga did this shit. He really came out like that. Talking about fuck black power and niggas throwing up their fists and nigga, you talking about Dr. Khalid? You talking about Willie Ricks, you bitch ass nigga? You ain't never stood for nothing and fought for nothing. And you tried to act like you was all about black power when you went out there with Malik Zulu Shabazz, you hoe ass nigga. People seen you, but it was an act. It was a front. It was just a front to get what you wanted so people could see you in a different light. And I load up the video so people could see it. And now all of a sudden it's fuck black power and fuck these niggas over here. Boy, you walking on, you walking on thin ice, nigga. I don't give a fuck about him being with me. You just mad because he got, he's driving um, this right here and he rocking his Gucci. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You niggas care about that. And so fuck you Negroes too, who try to bang on me for banging on him. So that's why I'm going to fall back and I'm going to hold it. I'll just hold it until he burn that fucking fuse. I know he's going to see it. And that's why I'm saying this in the beginning. So fuck you polite. Fuck everything you stand on, nigga. Fuck everything you stand on. Now, now respond. So I could come back and release the whole can of whoop ass on you, bitch. Because you know how I give it up. I don't give a damn. When it comes out my mouth, nigga, that's it. It's there. And I got recordings, too, that you don't even know I got. I always cover myself. I got to cover myself. We've been on the phone many times, nigga. Done exploded with you molesting this 14-year-old girl. No doctrine that say at 12 years old or any age. And don't, no doctrine that say at 12 years old or any age. And that if we get a hold of any doctrine, that doctrine is opportune. And that if we get a hold of any doctrine, that doctrine is opportune. That doctrine is opportune. That doctrine is I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to you, other elders, you followers of the truth. And let me say shalom to the elect. I want to call one of this video that I ran across um, with Sad Netter, who is um, just recently coming off a video saying that GMS is the most sincere. Um, but now he's doing a video. He, you know, this is all his journalism. This is how he, you know, he keeps the hype going. But he did a video now on um, Brother Polite. Now he's known to be... Um, outspoken on his words and not to hold back as said Netta does okay now I'm doing this video because of um, you had a situation where brother polite who is uh, come against GMS and they're trying to make and try to make us look foolish through a doctrine right which it may have worked to some people's eyes but now you can see the truth being revealed so it's ironic this is why i'm doing the video because it's ironic just after he came up with the video saying what he said about gms and we say the doctrine right then he comes out and does a video against the very man that tried to shame our doctrine along with himself but now he sees a little different whether it's for fame or whatever um with that video but then now this man brother polite has now come out and said to hell with the black conscious community. As I put the clip in there, you know, Polite has managed to conquer doctrines and hijack doctrines. And this alleged thing with the 14-year-old, which we don't know for 100%, uh, you know, I would kind of believe it to be so because of he admits to hijacking doctrines. So this is why this man was Nubian. He was Kemet. He was Afrocentric. You know, 
He had something called the, the New Covenant, which he gets from the scriptures. Uh, I've seen him in videos going into the Blue Letter. <clears throat> this man is, uh, you might he might be articulate, articulate, but he's a con, and most cons are. That's how they do it. And it, he, le he learned this from a jailhouse religion. I'm sure he was Muslim. He's, he's managed, he's a um, adopter of worlds, so to speak. Different beliefs, different doctrines. And he uses these <clears throat> doctrines to um, manipulate his challenge, his cause to everything. So you get confused because he had so many, <clears throat> um, so many rebuttals to every doctrine that he wants to control it all. And this is what this man does like with the BLM he'll control the Black Lives Matter but then he'll control the other sides you know he'll control White Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter he'll control both sides that way if he can hijack both doctrines he'll be in full control of it and uh, he'll get funded from each, every side and that's what this guy does this man is a con artist I've been saying it for years um, everybody's that found out lately in the last few years has been finding out. I was not at all impressed by his conning speeches because I knew people who was like that. In fact, a lot of these highly educated people, they go to school to learn how to con politicians, you know, presidents and various other figures of, of great society, so to speak. So anyway, I just want to get a, uh, scripture real quick uh, Matthew fifteen fourteen. let them alone they be the blind you can leave the whole scripture but I just want to get to the point let them alone well let me go up to 15 and um, uh, 13 to get to the point right of what he was actually talking yeah, um, what he was actually talking about let's go to Matthew what is it Matthew fifteen ten. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth of a man defileth a man, but which cometh out of the mouth which defileth a man. It says, Then came the disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? <clears throat> but he answered and said, Every plant which is my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. Right? Um, let them alone. They be the blind leaders, the blind, they should um, both fall into the ditch, and basically. Now, the saying that it doesn't, and it, this whole debating thing, which um, this man's captain, the captain to Zariac, um, is also using that platform, I believe, for um, financial financial gains as well, financial purposes. We can see that. So they're not about the gospel, so to speak. It, all this is about debates, financial support, money. This is what it's all about. It's all about the money. Um, Isaiah 31, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, and take counsel, but not of me, and that covereth a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Yeah, these guys are, uh, worship Hotep and the crocodile god, the um, the god nut, the the um, Osiris, uh, Nu, and um, the, the sperm gods, the um, phallix. I mean, these. This is what our people do. They totally ran away from the scriptures, even though they might they might have saw it in the Christian church, and they ran right to this because it was different. <clears throat> but you know what? That's who they are, right? They were the same ones in the, uh, in Egypt and loved Egypt. Uh, Polite is a prime example. He loves the money, right? They were living good then, and they're going to live good now until the most high pull the plug. <clears throat> and you got to remember these um, frats, as you want to call, brotherhood frats, they're funded on all these levels and platforms. <clears throat> we even see it in the truth. Anyway, that walk to go down to the Egypt, right, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, the shadow 
of Egypt, like the image of Egypt, right? They're the followings of Egypt. That's what these guys want. They're not even getting pure, uh, pure Egypt in their blood, man. They're just following the shadow of it. So why don't they go back? I don't understand it. The, the, the Hopetep guys, the Nubian guys, and all these guys, they'll stay here and manipulate the poor, so-called poor black people in the communities and, and snatch their money, take their money, and use it for whatever personal gain they can use it for. Anyway, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Egypt is nothing but confusion. And we're talking about the ancient Egypt and the modern Egypt at this point. Right? Because they're still trusting in this Egypt. Right? You know, this Egypt is the one that set those schools up and all that madness that they learned. You can sit here and listen to all these uh, so-called philosophies. And um, there's a Colossians 2 and 8. Um, don't follow these philosophies. And you can sit here and every one of them will have some different doctrine or philosophy. Not just in uh, uh, the black conscious community, but the, you know, the Hebrew Israelite thing. You'll have them do the same thing. You'll have the Old Testament Israelite with the New Testament Israelite with the soft testament israelite right <laughs> the soft guys that don't want to believe in the hardness of the bible right which the bible is balanced by the way let me jump to five they were all ashamed of the, um they were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them right nor be it help nor profit but a shame and also a reproach. So, um, Hotep and Geb and um, Osiris and Oris, which Osiris and Oris, I didn't study this stuff enough during these videos. Um, and Geb has created um, Oris and the moon god, the nut god. I mean, all these crazy gods, man, that could not save them, nor can they save them now. Egypt was so great what the hell happened but anyway I just wanted to touch on that that this conscious community as you can see it's falling apart people don't know what to do now there's so many doctrines I mean if I didn't believe that much in the Bible I'd be more confused sitting up there listening to all that that is kind of madness anyway that's all I have on that Shalom